the most effective and least expensive mouthwash is a very weak solution of sodium hypochlorite, the active ingredient in household bleach. Sodium hypochlorite has been used to render contaminated water potable or drinkable. In a post by the Center for Disease Control in 2009, they recommended that one fourth teaspoon to a gallon of water would make the water drinkable. But we need to talk about this not only from a safety standpoint, but an efficacy standpoint. I was introduced to this concept by Dr. Jorgen Slots at a meeting in Mexico City in the early 1990s where both of us were speaking. He, he indicated that a 0.05 solution of sodium hypochlorite could be used as an oral rinse. He recommended one teaspoon to 16 ounces of water, and you want to use plain and unscented sodium hypochlorite. It can be used for treating disease or used for treating halitosis, bad breath, or malodor. In periodontal disease, I think the solution that Dr. Slots recommended, one teaspoon to 16 ounces of water, is quite appropriate. However, I think we can make this weaker if we're going to just treat halitosis and one teaspoon to a quart of water works very well in that situation. And this is personally what I use in my own mouth. Let's talk about some practical considerations. It can be used in a water jet for the treatment of pockets or residual periodontal defects. And in that case, I would use the slot solution. You place one ounce in the reservoir of the water jet. Stop. Some practical considerations. It can be used in a water jet for the treatment of periodontal pockets or residual periodontal defects. In that case, I would use the one to 16 that slots recommended and you place one ounce of this solution in the reservoir of the water jet. I think care should be taken when using this, uh, to avoid splash because this may end up bleaching clothes. Whether you use it in the water jet or whether you use it just as a rinse, always use a measuring spoon and we want to use one teaspoon. We do not want to use a tablespoon because more is not better. Basically the only two things that you use is a teaspoon uh, of plain unscented sodium hypochlorite to a quart of water. Before using this solution, please watch the video on the importance of cleaning your tongue and the tongue scraper recommended by Dr. Robert Rippich. How do you use a solution? I think one ounce works quite well. If you're using it in a water irrigator, maybe one to two ounces may be necessary. However, if you're using it just as an oral rinse, one ounce works quite well and you want to swish this between your teeth after brushing and interdental cleaning. Gargle to kill the bacteria and uh, viral pathogens on the posterior third of the tongue. Use a tongue sweeper to scrape the posterior third of the tongue where the sulfur forming bacteria that are associated with malodor are found. Rinse vigorously and with plain water spit out and if you're concerned about swallowing some of this solution, drink an eight ounce glass of water to dilute it markedly if you have swallowed any, far below the concentration used for creating potable water. How effective is the water jet in removing uh, plaque? Let's talk a little bit about some background on that. The acquired pellicle is a thin protein containing film derived from salivary glycoprotein. It begins to reform after, after brushing within 30 seconds. Bacterial plaque. When the bacteria attach to this pellicle, this becomes bacterial plaque. And I think we need to revisit the water jet on this. And here's an article from the late 80s, which says, moderate hydraulic forces produced by a dental water jet can significantly remove the biofilm. By using the water irrigator, we can treat residual periodontal defects. The solution is forced deeper subgingivally to disinfect. 
And the difference between a periodontal pocket and a periodontal defect is on a video also on my web textbook. Does the solution degrade and lose potency over time? Quite frankly, I really don't know. But I suggest that you discard and make a new solution approximately every two to three weeks. The disclaimer, and this is important, the information is being provided for the educational purposes only and the solution should not be used at stop. The disclaimer. The information is being provided for educational purposes only and the solution should only be used at your own risk. More importantly, this is not a prescription. The solution should only be used at your own risk. Under no circumstances should it be swallowed. Children should not use the solution because they may inadvertently swallow some of the solution. Expectant mothers or women considering uh, becoming pregnant should not use this solution as its impact on the development and the uh, fetus is not known. What are the side effects of ingesting sodium hypochlorite? Drinking bleach can cause effects that range from mild to severe, depending on the amount ingested. The side effects of ingesting sodium hypochlorite Drinking bleach can cause effects that range from mild to serious depending on the amount ingested. Medline Plus states that consuming bleach or sodium hypochlorite may lead to mild stomach irritation. Ingesting larger amounts can lead to uh, gagging a sensation, uh, pain in the mouth or in the throat, burns in the esophagus, chest pains, low blood pressure, slow heart rate, delirium, coma, shock, vomiting, and stomach and abdominal pain, and perhaps even death. So I would like to offer you the challenge, the Miller Challenge, to try cleaning your tongue and scrubbing sodium hypochlorite into the posterior third of the tongue after brushing and interdental cleaning for 30 days. Then ask your spouse or your significant other if you should continue with this program or go back to your old oral hygiene program.